Okay, so you've all been very good and remaining on mute um, until the question of our question and answer session, of course, and you're all um, you've all got your cameras off. So let's begin. So this is our presentation for chemistry A level. Um, and today we're going to outline the course for your prospective students. And we've just got a few quotes here from current lower sixth. Um, you can read those at your leisure. Okay, um, requirements for the course. So um, a GCSE grade six in either chemistry or combined science and reasonable confidence in their mathematical ability because um, they're will be rearranging of equations, indices, algebra, um, but a lot of students worry whether they need to have A-level maths. And even some of our best chemists don't do A-level maths. And of course we will support them to help them get through the mathematical components of the course, but it's not, it's useful, but it's not essential. Um, the mathematical requirements are pretty much the four functions. So adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, um, plus in A2, there's a bit of logarithms, but we don't go into huge detail in that, we just use them. Um, obviously an enjoyment of the subject of chemistry, um, curiosity about the world, resilience, because it is a hard, is one of the harder courses, but you really get a sense of achievement when you, have done well in chemistry and an eye for detail, obviously, because we're looking at um, things on the atomic scale. Okay, why should you choose A-level chemistry? So A-level chemistry is pretty essential for subjects such as biochemistry, biomedical sciences, chemical engineering, dentistry, um, and medicine, um, and I think optometry as well. Um, and then it's very useful for things such as um, earth sciences, and I think geology, it's a must. Um, so in any sort of scientific or medical field, you will need a good knowledge of chemistry. Okay. Um, as well as a sort of conduit for further study at degree level, chemistry is also useful for um, developing certain skills that you need for your degree and also for the job market. You will need to be good at planning. You will need to have manual dexterity. Um, you need to work on your ability to assess risk. Um, to analyze data, to problem solve. Um, you'll need a certain degree of literacy, numeracy, um, skills of observation and communication. So if you think you're perhaps weaker at those, don't worry, the A-level course will help you develop those. And speaking of sort of useful skills, A-level chemistry is one of the more highly respected A-levels. So even if you only want to do it because you like chemistry and you're not going to pursue a scientific career, it really kind of helps you develop skills that um, you otherwise may not develop in other subjects. Um, and even if you do a degree of, at chemistry, um, you will you can pursue other careers such as law and um, finance, banking, um, consultancy, because chemistry helps you develop these skills. So more information about the A-level course itself. So we follow the OCR GCE Chemistry A syllabus. There is a Chemistry B, which we don't do, and that's more of a practical based um, syllabus. The length is two years. Um, you will be taught by two chemistry teachers covering different aspects of the course. Um, the exams will consist of three papers at the end of the two years and you will get a grade 
um, ranging from A star to U. Um, the first paper is on the periodic table elements and physical chemistry. The second will be um, organic chemistry. So how do you make um, different types of molecules that contain carbon? And then there is a practical endorsement component of the course, which is a pass fail. And <clears throat> we don't make, we don't allow you to fail um, this practical endorsement. Um, even if you are away for that practical, we do try our best to make sure that you get the skills required to pass or you have experience um, using equipment that is essential for that component. Okay, so a little bit more about the practical endorsement or PAGs. So it's a pass or fail. Um, some universities will require you to have passed it and obviously we'll make sure you pass it. Um, you are required to do 12 practicals. So at GCSE, you're required to do six. At A-level, you're required to do 12. Um, there's an emphasis on being able to perform practical activities independently, and they are designed to complement the A-level course. And just like for GCSE, you will get questions in your written exams about the practical component. Um, the exams, you will have the three papers. Two of them will be for an, two hours and 15 minutes. And then the third paper, which is the unified paper, which kind of combines all the concepts is for um, an hour and 30 minutes. And again, grade A star to U, and you sit these in the summer. Now the textbooks that we use are the Hodder education textbooks. You've got the AS level or year one, and then you've got the year two for the second one. Um, there are other textbooks out there that we don't, you don't require them, but some people find that they may be easier to access because of the different sort of layout and design. Um, and that can be discussed if you want advice on that. And then that pretty much sums it up. Are there any questions? Um, let me stop sharing. Are there any questions anyone would like to ask? Okay, I will let you all go. Thank you for coming. And have a great rest of the evening. Goodbye.